and I'm here again everybody I'm just gonna explain a simple topic um insulation resistance and what it means and how important it is to know if your insulation resistance is good or if it's bad it just helps you to be on top of your game as an electrician now what I'm doing here is I'm just checking the insulation resistance on the motor um, that's it the motor in the pump right there and it comes down and as you see the blue wire here is my my submergible wire and those those single ones are for, for the motor um, I'm just gonna get straight into it so you understand insulation resistance you're basically measuring the level of resistance of your insulation on your wire you basically basically that means you're checking it you're checking to see if your wire is good to accept the okay you're, you're actually checking if your wire is good to, to accept the current passing through and you're making sure that your splices are done correctly and that they're able to pass your current and there's there's no there's no leakage no no moisture can get inside there that's what insulation 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 resistance basically means when you're doing this test you're looking for meg ohms not ohms you're looking for meg ohms that's high resistance so that's good that's saying that your wire is good you can take you can take the current passing through it now on this on this wire i have two joints this is one right here see my faces are all joined up um that's one joint right here from uh from the motor to the start of the of the submergible cable and i have a next one here what really happened is it got it got a bit eaten up it got punched up and spliced up and cut up coming out of the well so we had to we had to resplice it so it's good um so we have two splices two splices on this cable now i'm going to go straight to the test now to let you know how, how it really works this this is a mega right here now I put it to 500 it has a thousand and a 500 so I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna put it to 500 now my coworker he's, he's gonna control these leads for me while I, while I explain all right um before time when I when I make the model I got 500 mega ohms and that's 500 volts flowing through those wires and I got 500 mega ohms that's, that's showing but my model is brand new it's ready to be used it's ready to be installed now I'm I'm gonna check the motor along with the two joints the two splices I have in the cable and see what and see what I get and let's go all right as you see there I have 45 46 47 48 and climbing and as you see that's M M and ohms right there. That means that's 52 mega ohms right there. That that shows I'm good, completely good. Let's go for my next phase, please. That was green and black. Now we're going to green and red. And I'm going up again to the same thing. 47, 48, 49, 50 mega ohms. Let's go next phase again. And that's ground to yellow. And we're up to 45, 46, 47, 50. So basically you can say we have 50 megos and climbing with two joints in this cable. That tells me I'm good. Now one thing, one thing you could do to make sure that this, this resistance stays constant, it doesn't drop. You could put your joints in water overnight and let it and let it sink in to see if your joints are done completely or no moisture getting in your joints that's one way that, that i do to make sure that my resistance is high now what we're gonna do is we, we, we won't let we won't leave the joints like that we're just gonna take some rubber tape so take some rubber tape here and some electrical tape and when you're doing this make sure you use high quality material this rubber tape can take up to 130 degrees celsius so this is perfect for the water that the water the water that, that it's actually going in. And this tape here can take up to 90 degrees Celsius. This, this electrical tape. So always use high quality material when you're doing these prices so there's no moisture can get in the wire and your your joints are done good. Nothing at all is wrong with them. As you, as you can look inside, you see you see crimps inside and the, and the heat shrink is over. It shrinks on to keep out moisture. And that's what basically insulation resistance means. You're just checking the, res the resistance of your wire to make sure that it's capable of doing what it's supposed to do. There's no leaks, there's no cuts, there's no bad joints, there's no moisture in the wire, and you're safe. Yeah. And that's something you always do when you're doing when you're doing a house or whatever you're doing here. 
for a client to be for a client to be safe. So, and that's basically it. That's insulation. That's insulation resistance for you. Guess how we go. And that's my coworker right there. And those are my two coworkers right there. Ready? So. <laughs> 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 <laughs>